The kids like are doing science. <laughs> Alex is playing doctor with Maddie. <laughs> Welcome to Pursuit of Happiness. So today I am going to do a quick run through of the RV. Uh, this will give you a kind of a brief view of everything and let you see how the whole thing works. So you've got the, uh, the front here, driver's seat, it does have Patriot brake controller there we've got a holder for the ipad that i use for navigation it does have a backup camera and side cameras so when you turn your turn signal on uh, it'll show you down that side of the rv or if you put it into reverse it'll show you the uh, backup camera you can also manually turn those on so that you can see what's behind you if you're pulling a car or something like that uh, I did add in fans, pass driver, passenger side, with controllers over here. On this side, you've got the headlight control, automatic leveling, generator start, auxiliary battery start. <clears throat> this is the mirrors, and they are heated, dual power heated mirrors, which is very nice. Up above, we have an electric drop-down bunk. You pull the pins out from each side and the controller is over here to let you pull that bunk down. All right, so here's the bunk down. It does have an extra net here. And that net connects up to the clip up there and down below to totally net this in so that you don't roll out. There is a ladder that attaches here to allow the kids to climb up on there. As most kids, our kids like to climb up the uh, dinette seat up in there, but it's a pretty big area. It's definitely larger than the bunk beds back there. Easily can sleep two kids up here. Um, we have slept two kids up here. I've had an adult sleep up here a few times. Um, so it's, it's a great area. You do have this air conditioning vent right here that the kids love to have pointed right at them when we're camping out in the summer here in Florida. We have the dinette. Seatbelts for four. Dinette cushions are a little bit war. We have a couch. There are seatbelts for three on the couch. And then of course the two seatbelts up there. So you can have a total of nine people in here all with seatbelts. In the kitchen, dual sink. We did put in a, a drinking water filter. You've got a three burner stove, normal RV three burner stove. Microwave up above it. Decently, completely unused oven. We actually have used the oven some, not a whole lot. Uh, spark start for the stovetop, your different stovetop controllers, and the oven. You do have to light the pilot light. You've got storage underneath, two drawers here, some storage here, and then a big drawer storage down here, which we have pots and pans. You have two cupboards up top, typically. We have food in there, goes all the way through. Same on this side. Storage in there. You do have storage underneath the dinette seats. And then there's also storage up above. Random tools, flashlights, whatnot. The table here between the two seats is removable. 
Most of the time we have that taken down until we get to where we're going. The chairs can turn around, face the table. The captain's chair can turn all the way around and face back here. We have standard Dometic freezer fridge, freezer and fridge. We put up a cork board. Behind this cork board, if you happen to take it down, there's a very small white board and a very small cork board. We like just the cork board because over here we put a large white board and then behind it, we have some storage for uh, spices and stuff like that. Up top, this used to be cabinet doors. I do still have the doors if you'd prefer to go back to that. Um, I have a TV that's coming to replace the TV that we had up here. The TV that came with the RV was not a smart TV. It was very poor, low quality. So uh, we do have one coming there. Um, all of the lights out front here have been changed to LED lights. All of these have. Keeps it much, much cooler. We do have the one air conditioner. Let's see if I can get this back on. That'll be good enough for now. One air conditioner here that is vented and vented into the back. In here, we have the two bunks. The bunk bed area has their own lights. We did in small, install smart televisions and put uh, splitters on both the top and bottom bunk so the kids can plug in a video game if they want. Um, but a smart television, connect to Wi-Fi, be able to have Netflix on there. Same thing down in the bottom bunk. Another smart television, same television. Remote controls for those. Here you've got your controllers, all of the pump, water pump, gas water heater. It is a gas only water heater, slide controls, your generator start. In here is a little coat closet. We keep a broom in there. Below the coat closet, if you have pets, you've got a little pet dish spot here where you can put two uh, dishes for food, water, and then it goes out of the way nicely. Carbon monoxide. We added this mirror here. And bathroom. We put in a medicine cabinet. So you got a place for all of your stuff in there. There's also storage up above. There is an air conditioner vent in here. The regular ceiling vent. We did replace the regular nozzle with this upgraded nozzle that everybody loves does do a much better job with the uh, low water pressure in an RV. One other thing we added was this bifold door that allows you to close off that area from this area. So when you're coming out of the shower, you're not on full view out the front, but it also gives you a lot more room with two girls. We needed a little bit more room. They can come out here, do their hair in the mirror, and uh, get ready. Back here in the master, we put up some hooks on the wall there, which those are just command hooks that can be pulled down. Uh, allow you to hang your hats up. There is a thermostat controlled fan in the ceiling back here, as well as the air conditioner vents. Uh, four lights controlled with light switch or individually. And then there's also the lights over top of the bed on each side. You have a power outlet. Down there is a furnace outlet for uh, output. Power outlet on both sides. It's a queen size RV bed. It's nice to have the queen because then you get the nightstands on both sides. Then of course this door closes, give you a little bit more separation. We added in a smart TV back here. And then behind the smart television, you've got an HDMI splitter. That'll take the signal of the VIP 211Z dish receiver and split it out across all of the televisions so you can all watch the same thing. 
remote control for that. This is a RF receiver so that you can control the dish without having to actually point it at it. Um, these are only line of sight remotes, infrared remotes. So otherwise you'd have to have this box sitting out somewhere. So we added in the RF receiver so you didn't have to have it out in sight. We've got lots of storage back here. Mirrors. In here is the standard RV rack for uh, uh, hangers. On this side for the girls, I put in two different hangers so that they could uh, hang their clothes up. And then there's of course big drawers underneath here. Very large storage up above. So that's the short rundown of the inside of our RV. I hope that you liked it. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, this is a 2015 Coachman Pursuit 33 BHP. So it's a bunkhouse with the power bunk up above. Hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, put uh, any questions you have down in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget, pursue your happiness.